How to use SDXL 1.0 and Comfy UI workflow with SDXL nodes. Hey guys, I'm going to be showing you another tutorial for today. We're going to be learning SDXL 1.0 and Comfy UI workflow with SDXL nodes in the easiest way possible. I'm also going to show you the difference between the output of SDXL base and SDXL refiner. So without further ado, let's dive into the tutorial. So first things first, there are actually two ways for you to see a node. So you can either right click and then add node or you can also click alt and then double click just like that. So in this case, I'm going to be using this one alt and then double click and then I will click checkpoint loader simple. Okay, this one and then I'm going to change this one to SDXL base and then we're going to add a clip. So again, alt double click and then this time I'm going to type SDXL. All right, so this one clip text encode SDXL. So we're not going to use refiner yet. So, all right, here we go. And then I'm going to convert this one into input. There you go. There you go. And then I'm going to be dragging this text G over here because I'm going to be adding a node and for utilities. So primitive. All right. So this is where we're going to be typing the inputs for the positive and the negative. Okay. And then connect that. And then I'm going to copy this one for our negative the same thing here All right there you go and then connect it to g and then to l all right and then i'm going to connect this one here in the clip the same thing here now the next thing that we're going to do is add a sampler so again alt and then double click and then i'm going to type sampler so i want to use the advanced this one and then I'm going to connect positive here and then our negative front over here. All right, there you go. And then we're going to connect the model also to our checkpoint model. And before we proceed, I'm just going to type the prompt here. A surreal futuristic image of the world. Okay. And here for a negative, I just don't want to see a lot of people. So I, I'm just going to type many people. So I want this image to be focusing mainly on like how the world is going to look like according to this AI. So again, this is SDXL base 1.0. And then this time we're going to proceed. So for the latent, I'm going to just drag it here. Uh, latent image, I'm going to add empty latent image right over there. And I'm just going to change the value of the height and the width. So say for example, 1024, same thing here. 1024 and then i'm going to say for example generate about three pictures and then for the latent i'm going to add something here we're going to add vaed code and for the image right over here so you can either click save image or preview image if you want to click save image it will automatically save in your drive or in your local in my case i'm just going to click preview image because i want to see it first before saving it okay there you go and then let's put it here okay there you go and then and then the next thing that i'm going to do is basically here so we're just going to change the sampler so it's up to you guys you can choose of course any of these sampler i'm just going to use this one and i don't have a gpu so this is going to fit better for me all right and yeah i guess that's it basically that's the only thing that we're going to do so we're going to load the image we're going to click here q prompt Let's see what SDXL base is going to give us. Oh yeah, I forgot the VAE, of course. Yes, there you go. So you have to connect the VAE. All right, so let's queue. Okay, now it's running. So you will see it running when it's turning green. So that's when you know that it is processing. All right, so now we have generated three amazing images. Let's try to check them one by one. Okay, uh, there you go. Oh, nice. Take a look at that. So these are buildings and I'm guessing these are roads. Can you imagine this one? Wow. Look at that sphere. So it's like a world or a city or country, whatever, covered in sphere. Oh, nice. Now, this is amazing. These are all generated by AI, you guys. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this one in a new tab for later. So I've opened them in new 
tabs. Now we're not going to stop here. We're going to see what SDX L Refiner is going to do for us. So the same thing, click Alt and then checkpoint loader. This time I'm going to use Refiner. Okay, so I'm now using Refiner. So basically I'm just going to copy these. I mean, I'm going to copy this one. Okay, there you go. So I'm going to be using this for my positive as well. And the same thing for the other one. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Go back there, here. So this is for my negative. So we're going to just connect this one. Okay, I'm just going to borrow this one. This is again for our positive. And also this one for our negative. So we're going to be using the same codes. All right, there you go. So yeah, I think we've connected it. All right, so for the sampler, we're going to try to do the same thing. So advanced. All right, there you go. And in here, we're just going to change a little bit our sampler. So for this one, we're going to use positive. We're going to use negative. And we're going to use the base model here. So we've connected our positive and negative. Now this time, I'm going to try to connect latent here. So this is something that comes out after our basic. And yeah, we're going to proceed with this one. So still the same VAE decode, All right? And then the same thing, we don't want to make the same mistake as earlier. We want to connect our VAE. And then here, still the same preview image. Now, uh, before we are going to generate, I just want to change something here. So for this time, we have here start that step. And then we also have here steps, number of steps. I'm just going to reduce this one to say, for example, 10. All right, okay, and then for our refiner, we are going to start here at 10, and then we are going to end at, say, for example, 20. So that's what we are going to do. And then still the same thing, we're going to change the sampler name to the same one as earlier, DPM++ underscore SDE. Okay, this one. All right, so yeah, I think we have got it all. So let's try to generate and see how different it would be. So I'm going to Q prompt. All right, so there you go. So it's starting here. Oops, somehow I clicked it twice. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. I only meant to click it once. All right, but anyway, it should be fine. All right, so now we have generated. This is actually the second image that was generated because I accidentally clicked here twice. But let's see a difference in this case. So let's close the old one. So I'm going to open this one. And we're going to open it again in a new tabs for us to have a comparison later on. All right. And the same thing here. Okay. So now we're here. So this is coming from base. And then this is coming from refiner version. All right. So I'm going to show you the difference between the two. So this is for the base. As you can see, there are yeah a little bit of details here. But if you're going to go to a refiner, you can see that there's a lot more details going on here. Say, for example, the building. So if we are to click the building, take a look at that one, guys. So here, yeah, there isn't a lot of things going on here. Kind of looks like a mountain or something with this kind of particular building in the middle. Here, you can see that there are really a lot of buildings going on here. So you can see there's even like a bridge down here. Yeah, this one doesn't look like a bridge at all. So... Here, it's very clear. There are boats here, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so, yeah, that's one of the difference. Another thing, we're going to click on the second picture. So, as you can see here, uh, this is somehow like a UFO or something. I think AI is thinking that there are going to be aliens in the future here in our world. Hopefully not. Okay. <laughs> but, yeah, this is how it looks. And you can see that there are more details in the refiner version. Let's try to click a third one. Oh, wow. Take a look at that. That is definitely amazing. And you can see the difference. So yeah, that's basically all there is. That's how you're going to use SDXL 1.0 and Coffee UI workflow with SDXL nodes. And that's also the difference between the output between the base and the refiner version of SDXL 1.0. <laughs> What you, what you, what you, what you, what you gonna do?